So I've got a parcel today. Um, may have made a bit of a risky purchase. Let's have a look. I've wanted to get into airbrushing for a while now. Um, and most recommended airbrushes for, for from, from many painting channels I follow start around the eight pound mark. Um, money's a little tight at the moment and uh, this had good reviews I saw it on Aliexpress for £27 so let's have a little look and see if I've made a huge mistake so we've got a hose that's good to have um, the main unit looks pretty decent too um, looks fairly good quality that moves nice and smoothly. Um, yep, yeah, looking okay so far. Some cleaning brushes, that's handy. Um, and not sure what that part is. Come back to that. Um, UK plug, that's a relief. Um, always a worry when you're ordering stuff like this off, off websites like AliExpress. Um, and then the compressor. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, it all all looks okay. Um, let's see what else we can find. Ah, filter. One thing I did find in the box is that hole is for a little stand and um, you click that in and it just holds the airbrush nice there which I think is a nice feature for, for such a cheap kit. Um, yeah. Oh yeah this thing. Um, so it looks like this is a little cleaning spike for cleaning out the nozzle um, which is handy and nice and safe because it looks really sharp um, okay let's have a little test of this I didn't put the filter on um, I didn't think I'd need it for this so I've left that off um, so everything seems decently well made um, so this knob on the side, I think that's what changes your PSI. Now there's no markings on this, so you kind of have to do it by feel. That's a little bit, um, it's a little bit awkward. I'm not sure how many um, others actually do mark that, but for the price, I can't really complain about that. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little. Um, bit of paint to this mini it's it's a 3d printed um, cyclops from a um, patreon called monstrous encounters who do really good old school warhammer style minis um, I'm not happy with the paint job on this because um, where I've tried to use traditional painting techniques um, like washes and dry brushes um, that's shown a lot of the print lines um, so I'm hoping with an airbrush I can get a smoother finish so um, let's try my trusty old dwarf flesh and uh, the first thing I'm going to need to do is thin this a little bit because that paint is going to be way too thick for the airbrush so um, I don't one massive disclaimer with all of this is I don't actually have um, any real experience working with an airbrush I've never owned one before this is my entry-level um, airbrush um, so massive disclaimer with any of my opinions that I give on, on this airbrush um, I had a look online about how thick the paint should be to go into an airbrush um, so I'm going to attempt to thin it down just so it flows nicely out the airbrush um, so all I'm doing with this is I'm adding a little bit of acrylic medium and a couple of drops of water 
and um, we're going to put that in and see how it performs. So the first thing I notice here is the compressor is not too loud, which is good. Um, I was a little worried about the racket that I'd make. Um, so yeah, just give it a few test sprays and then um, just see how it applies to the model. Um, it seems to go on okay. Um, and yeah, I'm going to give it a little coat of this and a little bit of highlights and see, see what I can achieve. Um, bearing in mind it is my first time. Okay, now I'm going to mix up a uh, lighter colour for highlights and um, see how I can get the two paints to um, interact with each other. Um, I just added a little bit of um, Screaming Skull to this one, a little bit of uh, creamy bone colour, um, um, just to brighten it up a little bit. And um, yeah, we'll see how... Um, apply a bit of that. I'm just going to do two colours for now and see how they work and uh, see what we can do with this. So this is how he looked after um, airbrushing the two colours. Um, not perfect, but um, the the transition's not perfect there. But um, it's certainly achieved a highlight, and it um, doesn't leave the print lines as visible as when I uh, had painted it before. Um, all in all, for a first attempt, not bad. So, after a quick test, uh, what, what do I think of this? Um, for 30 quid, um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. Um, I've not tried more expensive airbrushes, um, but I can guarantee you it's not as good as a 70 quid airbrush. 
it's not as good as an 80 quid airbrush it's not as good as a 100 quid airbrush um but for starting out um and um as a cheap tool to sort of start learning a new skill um i think this will absolutely work for me um I've seen some suggestions from some lovely people on Instagram um, that there are videos out there that, that tell you how to tune this and tweak this to get the most out of it as well. So there's, there's room for improvement here as well. Um, I think on my test model here, um, there are some things that I'm not happy with. Um, but I honestly don't know how much of that is... Um, down to my lack of experience with the tool rather than the tool itself. Um, I don't think I got the paint consistency quite right. Um, but I think I'm going to have to buy some airbrush paints just to see what the consistency is on them, just so I know what I'm aiming for when I'm when I'm mixing my own. Um, so yeah, if if you're interested in getting into airbrushing and you can't afford um, one of the pricier models um, and that's a barrier of entry for you then then absolutely I think something like this um, could be a starting point for you um, and it's where I'm starting um, I may change my mind um, I may use this for a while and then hit a roadblock and find that this is holding me back but um, like I say I'm definitely going to get my money's worth out of it um, so yeah that's my £30 worth um, if you are interested in trying this I will leave a link down there as to where I got it um, and um, yeah, really looking forward to using it a bit more. Um, so thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye. Okay, so I, f I felt the need to add a little bit in at the end here because after I filmed that video and edited it and it was ready for upload, I spent a little bit more time with the airbrush. I did a bit more practice, and uh, this is what I came up with. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with this um, so yeah I just thought I'd give you a bit more of a sort of view of what I managed to achieve with it after just a few hours practice um, so once again thank you so much for watching and until next time goodbye